Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a battle beers between two beers from Trillium. This is their flagship beer. This is 4-point pale ale, 6.6% pale ale, which is pretty much um, an IPA. A friend recently asked me what's the difference between IPA and pale ale. Uh, the pale ale is going to be lower in alcohol, a little bit more balanced than the malt. This one actually jumps above uh, the pale ale range, 45 to 6.2%, and it actually has tons of hops, not too much balance going on in this New England style uh, pale ale slash IPA. So pretty much an IPA, but we can do a whole video about that what we're doing is comparing four point which is citra hopped to galaxy uh dry hop four point so let's dig into them uh they pretty much look the same haze for days uh medium to deep gold color let's get the aroma on this one oh, man. <laughs> big juicy mango overripe fruit uh orange for days papaya driving through cheers oh wow very good Huge smack of, again, that kind of mango, juicy orange note, a little bit of um, juicy like navel orange, really sweet orange, some grapefruit driving through. And then there's this wonderful kind of like pine needle minty kind of thing going on. Uh, recently had um, Thanksgiving, we cooked with rosemary. It's got this green, rich, you know, bright, herbaceous kind of note. Really nice stuff. Let's dig in this one. Mm, galaxy, oh, love it. So whereas this one was big, overripe fruits this one is very juicy as well but it's leaning more towards that kind of pineapple kind of note again reminds me of uh, treehouse green which is a galaxy based ipa tons of uh, sorbet notes mango sorbet orange some melon driving through cheers <laughs> that is galaxy for days yeah absolutely delicious again reminds me a little little bit of a uh, treehouse green we're talking about more of that kind of melony kind of note, that cantaloupe honeydew kind of thing, more, probably probably leaning towards honeydew. A nice kind of uh, mango sorbet note, pineapple driving through. <clears throat> Sorry, there's a tangerine uh, coming in as well. Again, it's just not as ripe and citrusy and juicy and tropical, or just as tropical, but not as juicy and intense and fruit flavors. More of that refined kind of again sorbet, bubblegummy, candied fruit kind of note um definitely less piney on the back end on the back end you get some columbus bitterness some earthiness on this one as well get a light biscuity malt barely any malt to speak of really not too much uh bitterness as well um nice and balanced beer but really drinks like a new england style ipa both are absolutely delicious if i had to choose mm, it'd be hard I think actually on, you know, one day you want this one, one day you want this one. As a huge Galaxy lover, probably want this one sometimes. As uh, for this one, this one's big and juicy, wonderful flavors. It has a big kind of balance of like fruitiness and piney kind of qualities. And so sometimes maybe I'd want this one. But uh, we're going to do, have to do a cuvee, obviously, right? Always do the cuvee. Um, so let's take in. So we basically have uh, Citra Galaxy four point. So let's take in. Very nice. Mostly this one popping through. <laughs> That's so good. Um, you get the big juiciness of the four point, but you can get that wonderful refined kind of fruity quality. They're interwoven with like, again, melon, sorbet, peach, mango, papaya. Um, you get more of that kind of bitterness coming from this one, but it's a little bit more tamed down because you have this beer in there. The cuvee is absolutely delicious. If I could do more, I would wish I could do all of them. You know, the double dry hop one, the mosaic one, the Nelson one, blah, 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 blah. Uh, post in the comments below what your favorite is. This cuvee is absolutely amazing. These two beers are absolutely amazing. Check out Trillium. They're doing amazing stuff. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.